Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So today we have got a Wonder Kid team um, in the Football League. So they're in League One, they're playing at Burton Albion. The reason why I chose Burton Albion is because generally their facilities are fantastic. Uh, if you look at them, they are... Um, state-of-the-art training facilities, and state-of-the-art youth facilities. Um, so I thought it'd give them the best chance at a lower league club to really start, really develop as a team. Um, I will walk you through the players. So my idea was, I didn't want to go for players that were, um, I'll go on to the shortlist, it'll be easier. Uh, I didn't want to go for players that were massive and, and, and everyone knows who they are. I wanted to go for maybe a quite smaller players and also I wanted to go for very young players to see how they would do in the Football League and playing. So... Burton are limited to these players for the first um, transfer window, so they can't bring in anyone in. But I will also kind of talk you through them. So, first up, we've got Alejandro Iturb, um, 16-year-old, uh, Spanish youngster. I, I'll be honest, I can't remember where any of these players have come from. So, you'll have to apologise. If you just Google it or, say, put it into your football manager, you'll be able to see. Um, but looks okay. A decent goalkeeper. Nothing spectacular, but nothing awful there at all. Uh, then you've got Mickey Van Sass, who comes from Utrecht. I know that one because it says in the bottom right-hand corner in the top right. Uh, <laughs> but he's a 16-year-old again coming in there. So these are all players that were said to be good uh, youth prospects. Uh, again, Josco Gvardio. Um, he brought from Leipzig, who recently signed in from Dynamo Zagreb. Uh, it looks very good. A very, very good centre-back um, there. Star player for Burton Albion, certainly. Andrea Papetti, next. 18-year-old centre-half uh, from Brescia. Uh, a good good young player as well. Uh, next, we have Max Norman Williamson, uh, a Norwegian from Christi Christian Sund. Uh, <laughs> another centre-half there. Um, again, nothing spectacular, but 17 years old, so could still improve. Marco Canna, I'm sure a few of you will know him. He's a good centre-half, centre-midfielder who's got a good bit of playing ability from Anderlecht uh, in Belgium. Then we've got Rodrigo Pinero, a, a full-back from Porto. Next, we have, where were we? I've lost it. Malo Gusto, French fullback slash centre midfielder from Lyon. Another player that's 17 years old, so lots of room to develop there. Uh, then we've got Ricardo Calafiori, uh, fullback again, uh, being able to play from Roma at left back. And then we've got David de la Vibora. Fantastic hair from Real Madrid's B team at left back as well. 17 years old. Um, Dennis Lutka Fri, uh, I believe he's from possibly Borussia Dortmund. Uh, as central midfielder, again, 17 years old. So all, all under the age of kind of 18 or younger. I want to just really try and get some individual players that I haven't seen before. Uh, Pierre Duomo from Genk, another central midfielder attacking player that looks quite good. Uh, Nasit Univar, that I'm sure many of you have seen before in Football Manager, 17 years old, decent looking player. Gavi as well, a Spanish, Spaniard who I think is actually from Barcelona, um, playing in centre midfield. Pippi, the Japanese Real Madrid player uh, as well, looking very good with those dribbling technique and flair stats in centre midfield. Uh, Savio is next, the Brazilian, coming from Atletico Mineiro in Brazil. Brazil, 16 years old in there. And then we've also got uh, Shola Shortaya uh, from Manchester. He He's very, very promising in real life. Hopefully he's as good in game. Jeremy Pino as well, another one. Villarreal was where he's from. Looks very, very good in those stats there. Uh, Ryan Chekri or Cherky uh, from Lyon. Again, another player that I'm sure you're all aware of. 16 years old, very good. Ilias Akomak. Again, 16 years old, another attacking player for them. Yusuf Demir, Austrian international uh, at the under-21s, and another player that you really need to know about if you don't know about them because he is, can become very, very good on the game. Rapid Vienna is his team. Uh, then we can jump to Wilfred Gnotto, uh, an Italian striker from Inter Milan. Looks very nice there. Five foot seven. Uh, Yusuf Mukoko, as you're all aware, 15 year olds, absolute beast. We'll see if he sticks around and how long for. And then Luis Carbonell, uh, another Spaniard up front. So they've got a variety of a team there, uh, a big, big team. And what we'll do is we'll go a year ahead, see how they got on in the league, Burton themselves, as well as the players and how they performed. And then we will jump a few years ahead, see who's stuck around, see who's left and how that's all gone for them.
Okay, first things first, we can see that Burton are top of the league. They did get promoted to the championship, winning the league. Um, it was quite tight in the end, um, but it was good to see that they have um, won the division with Mukoko getting 15 goals, Pino getting an average rating of 7.43. So looking very, very good there. Um, the lineup, it looks like it is a 4-4-1-1 formation that Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank has gone for in the season uh, with... Williamson and Gavardio at centre half, Calafiori and Pinera at fullback, Pino, Cherky, Nasi Unova and Kana with Demir just behind Mukoko, as you'd expect, being up top. Looks like they did bring in a goalkeeper to um, play at in goal for them, which is interesting, rather than going for any of the players. He's still a young player, so they're still sticking with a young kind of town boy there. Um, but interesting to see, certainly. Players, let's take a look at their stats. Let's get some good stats up um, for them. Uh, da, 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 general play? No, let's go... Da, 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 da. Here we go. We can see some of their goals and assists details here. So appearance-wise, Guardio Barden, who's they brought in on loan, uh, Calafiori, uh, Pino, all making loads of appearances with Pippi and Carbonell. Not getting many down here. Um, goals-wise, Mukoko's obviously the top goal scorer with Pino, Demir, uh, Gnoto and Gavi all getting on the score sheet. And assists, you can see here as well, Pino, Gavi, Savio all getting contributions on there. We can see that Gavi is set to leave to Barcelona. So he's got, looks like he's going back to Barca um, when it comes to things. So that's interesting. Is there, is there any money in that deal? We'll have to see if there is any. Um, but if we take a look at the shortlist, we can see that there will there will have been players that have actually left. So if we switch it to this way around, we can take a look. So Andrea Papetti is at Fiorentina. Um, he did move there following a short stay at Burton. They made £775,000 off him. So that was one of the things I thought would be quite interesting is also to see um, how they use the money. Um, so they might bring in some... Uh, players using that £775,000 that they got for him, uh, but it's not a bad deal for them really, I'd say, um, with a few good players in there. Dennis Look to Free is at Dartford, which is interesting. He's on loan, so he will be coming back to the club. He's made 34 appearances, getting 12 assists, so absolutely dominated the Vanarama South, as you'd probably expect. Um, Ilias Akomak um, has moved to Chelsea. Uh, big move for him. Hasn't played any games, but £3.2 million. Has played for the, obviously, the under-21s and that side of things. Did make a few appearances for Burton. Didn't perform amazingly, but it's a good amount of money for them to be bringing in at the stage that they're at. And then we can see Alejandro Iturb on loan from Burton as well. 17-year-old at Chelmsford City uh, in the Vanarama South. Has played loads of games, which is good to see for him. And hopefully that'll help his development going forward. But um, we will jump again and see uh, and in five years' time if any players have stuck around, um, who that is, where Burton are in the divisions, and kind of what's next for them. Okay, so we are in the year 2025, and we can see Burton finished up in third place in the championship. So they're, <laughs> they're competing now, using those young players that they've sold and, and all that sort of thing, and started to develop. They, they got third in the table, just missing out on um, getting promotion, losing to Birmingham 1-0 in the playoffs, which is a shame. Um, but we can see that there are a few players still with the club that we recognise from the beginning of the episode, uh, but also a few players that we don't. So Mape is obviously in there and, and Chair and O'Brien. So a few players definitely come into the side. Jimmy Floyd's still there though, which is the main thing for them. But let's take a look at those um, players in the side. What am I doing? Where am I going here? Uh, let's go into the players pool here. So we can see that Gonoto is playing a lot for the team, uh, getting 19 goals as well, which is good to see. Duoma is there as well, getting nine goals. Uh, Della Vibora and Cherky also playing quite a bit. I'm surprised Cherky's still around, to be honest. Um, but there's not many left, really, is there, um, at the club from what we can see here. But it looks like they have pumped money into the team with the likes of Will Ferry coming in, Keenan Davis, as well as Neil Mapai. So, um, Mac, what a name, Maxim pa Plakushenko. Wow. Love that. What a name. Um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll take a look at the shortlist, see where these players have gone and what's kind of gone on there. So with that, we can see that PP has gone off to Arsenal. Let's get these all these details looking much nicer for us so we can have a proper look at his... Uh, 
position and where he's at with things. So um, looking very nice. Uh, you can see £7 million from the side of Burton, who were in the championship at the time. Only recently moved there, made one appearance, but it's good stuff for Burton, certainly. Sholo Shortier, Short... No, I'll try that again. Shola Shortire has um, moved to Villa on loan from Tottenham, um, though. So he's moved to Tottenham for £9 million and has a couple of loan spells out as well. Obviously, impressed enough for him to get that move to Tottenham in the first place. Yusuf Demir, as well, has gone to Aston Villa, but permanently on this one. £26 million. Wow. Uh, Burton's really making some money on him, which is good to see. Uh, then we've got Gavi. Off to Barcelona, as we saw, 3.9 million it was, was that transfer. Um, had a couple of loan spells, but hasn't really performed for them otherwise, playing for the B team mainly. Um, can see Josko Gvardio, uh, obviously he has an affiliation with Germany somehow, um, because he's gone back to Germany for £27 million from Burton. Uh, he's played very well for them, and that's what got him the move, and he's done well for Dortmund as well at that higher level, so it's good to see. Uh, Nasi Unavar has gone to Brentford, uh, the 22-year-old now, £21 million, which is a lot of money, uh, obviously getting some tight game time there as well. We can see Max Norman Williamson off at Brighton. Uh, some good looking stats, good heading, good tackling. Six foot five, so he's a bit of a beast at the back. A wow, okay, that's not expected. 28 million he was bought from uh, Burton by Blackburn, who got ended up getting relegated, and then Brighton brought him off their hands for 41 million pounds. So that's a lot of money. So certainly a player I'd keep an eye on in your saves for 21 year old. Um, he's looking very good. Uh, Jeremy Pino is at Burnley now. Um, after a £10 million move from Burton, which, I mean, it's good good money for Burton to bring, bring it in as well. Uh, then we can see, obviously, all the players that are stuck around at Burton at this point. Uh, Louis Carbonell has obviously got a transfer arranged for um, Napoli as well. Uh, we saw Papetti and Ilicomar last time. Andrea Papetti has moved to Chelsea, though. Uh, for £53 million. Pounds. Wow, okay. That's a lot of money. Uh, Calaf Fiori is at Lazio. The left back signing £50 million to Newcastle and then off to Lazio for £30 million. So that's a lot of money being spent on him. Uh, Marco Canna is off to Sheffield United. Uh, a nice £15 million pound move there for him uh, with Burton getting plenty of money there. Savio has moved to Southampton, 21 years old, £33 million spent on him. And he performs very well for um, Burton and looks like he started well for the Saints in the Prem as well. So uh, certainly a player I'd keep an eye on in your saves. Rodrigo Pinero has also joined Southampton um, for only £900,000 though in this run. Uh, maybe could start forming a partnership with Salvio having uh, both been in Burton at the same time. And then Dennis looks for free, off to Udinese on a free as well. So they didn't quite make any money on him, but he's not really performed otherwise. So a bit disappointing there. Not made much appearance for him, so they're probably okay with that. And then Yusufa Mukoko, as expected, a nominal player um, playing at Juventus. He did leave on a free, which often happens with him being snapped up by the bigger clubs. But what a player. I mean, you really can't get much better than that. Incredible stuff. Uh, but we will jump again. We'll jump another five. See if any of the Burton players are still around that we gave them at the start of the save. Uh, and then we'll go from there and see how they got on. Oh, so that's a shame. We can see that they, after reaching the heights of third, um, they have slowly dropped down the divisions and been relegated to League One once again. Um, no more Jimmy Floyd for Burton Albion. Uh, you can see that everything's changing around now that we're in 2030. Um, doesn't look like any of the players are actually in the squad anymore. So we can jump ahead and see um, where they're all at uh, in the short list we've got here. So um, we'll start with goalkeepers. Alejandria Turb is at Bristol City. Um, an interesting signing, certainly, having left Burton Albion earlier on. We can see here uh, £72,000, so not a big transfer. And they, he did stick around for a long time with um, Burton in the championship. Uh, looks not a bad keeper, really, uh, with low eccentricity, which is good. And his first touch is very poor, but otherwise not too bad. A, a good sort of backup keeper to have, certainly. And he is wanted by QPR. Uh, we can see Mickey Van Sass is at Ajax. He's gone back to the Netherlands after some time in England with a £13.5 million pound move. Um, to Aston Villa with a player exchange involved, and then a 9.5 million one, and then off to Ajax for that 14.75 million. So a lot of money 
being spent there, which is quite interesting. Andrea Papetti is now at Southampton following his move from Fiorentina to Chelsea. £22 million. Chelsea didn't really make much, much of him, but Southampton looks like to be getting more and more out of him now. Um, Max Norman Williamson, oh, he's at Bayern Munich. What a player he seems to be. Um, a little gem, certainly. £36 million after some time at Brighton um, where he performed pretty well. And he's really performing for Bayern Munich as well. So, I mean, if anyone at this stage you, you're interested in looking at, I'd certainly recommend Max Norman Williamson. Um, next, we've got Gvardiol, who's still at Dortmund, performing very well for them, uh, as you can see there. Very, very good player. Another player that you should definitely pick up. Uh, Kana, who's at Burnley, following moves to Sheffield United and Inter Milan as well. Uh, didn't play much for Inter, but has certainly started to play more for Sheffield. Uh, we can also see Rodrigo Pinero. Playing for Augsburg now, following um, his time at Southampton. Didn't play for them, really, and moved on a free to Augsburg. So nothing spectacular there. Malo Gusto is at AC Milan. Quite a versatile player and looks like he has played in a few different places. Played for Brighton in the Prem, then off to Lokomotiv Moscow in Russia, and then to Italy with Milan. Uh, we've then got uh, Riccardo Calafiori, Italy international Playing for Wolves now, 9.5 million after his move from Lazio. He he scored one goal in one appearance for Italy, so you can call him an international, I guess. Uh, and then we've got David Della Vibora uh, with the amazing hair at left back, 27 years old now, Royal Sociedad player, 11.5 million pounds after a 7.5 million move and player exchange with Burnley, which is interesting to see. Uh, we then got Dennis Luktafrog, Fry, who is. All over the place with where he's been playing. He's been at Udinese for a long time. Then moved to Armenia, Bellafield, and then Cologne in the Bundesliga as well. So um, not much game time he's getting either, which is kind of disappointing. Gavi, who went off to Barcelona, or back to Barcelona, we should say, um, moved to Atlanta for £15 million, pounds, where he's getting a lot more game time, which is about time. Luis Carbonell, uh, the striker, moved to Millwall and Napoli. An interesting kind of career he's had certainly now playing in Serie B with Barry where it looks like he's really found his level and his performances have started to increase um Savio still at Southampton 26 years old now looks very nice indeed 33 million pounds they bought him for um has dropped off slightly with his performances as you can see there uh we've then got Jeremy Pino who is at Tottenham Hotspurs following a move to Burnley. £66 million pounds, though Burnley made for him, so that's not a bad amount of money. Uh, Akamak, from following his move to Chelsea, had made a £32 million pound move recently to Juventus, performing very well for them. Uh, Rayan Cherky has finally moved on to AS Monaco, following a move to Sassuolo as well in between. Um, not performing too well, though, which is a bit of a shame. We then got Wilfred Gonotto, um, EA Gwingamp is the team he's currently at, with Newcastle being a stopgap in between. Uh, performing a lot better for Gwingamp than he did for Newcastle in that period. Uh, then we've got Pierre Duomo. Uh, he is currently at Benevento in Italy. £17.25 million was spent on him. Uh, getting relegated with him initially and promoted as well. So he's had a bit of an eventful few seasons with them, certainly. Uh, Shirley Shortire is with Burnley, following that move from Tottenham, didn't play amazing. He got loaned out to Chelsea, which is a bit of an interesting loan deal. Um, only playing nine games and then got a £12 million move to Burnley. Getting a lot more regular game time. Pippi is at Stoke, following the move to Arsenal. He was loaned out for a few seasons, didn't really do enough to impress. Uh, and then off to Stoke in the Championship. He went for £2.9 million, a bit of a bargain. Yusuf Demir is still at Villa. He is listed and they're trying to get rid of him, um, <laughs> which is interesting. He was obviously in the Prem for a long time. They got relegated, got him back promoted to the Premier League. He's playing a lot of games for them still. Maybe it's him that's wanting to leave that club. Uh, Nassi, Nassi Unavar is at Rangers uh, after a £21 million move to Brentford, as we saw. He's now got a £26.5 million move to Rangers, where he is smashing the league, as you'd expect, up in Scotland. And then finally, Yusufa Mukoko is currently at Manchester City after a £130 million move from Juventus. Wow. As expected, though, he's an incredible player. Always try and sign him if you can, but he's just way too good. But anyway, um, I hope you did enjoy this. I thought it was a bit different, a bit different to what you'd normally see with a Wonder Kid team. Um, I wanted to go for some interesting players and see how Burton got on with them and kind of where they went from there. Bit of a shame Burton did end up getting relegated back to where they started um, after losing all those players, but and not invested the money too well, clearly. But... 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will catch you next time.